morning everybody we're at the petrol pass in dryden ontario we had to park out on the street here because last night there's a i don't know if you can see it there's a festival or like a traveling fair that's set up right beside the truck stop like way out of town just right beside the truck stop and i went in today to talk to the managers here and say that hey we got here last night and the place was packed full of cars parked all over the place they literally blocked in all the trucks in the back they couldn't get out if they wanted to uh, i got into the parking lot and then you there's nowhere to go everything's blocked in so i had to back out and meanwhile there was kids running up and down between the trucks running under the trailers running behind you even though i was backing up they would keep running behind my truck and families i guess were oblivious to what was going on they were just slowly walking behind me as i was backing up over to the fair it was, it was chaos chaos and frustrating so i went inside today and talked to the people in charge i was like hey just to let you know like uh it was chaos last night and i want to know like are they supposed to be parking here they're like no actually they're supposed to be parking over in the assigned parking for the fair but the thing is that the fair is charging people to park over there meanwhile right next door there's a truck stop that isn't charging anybody or at least they didn't have anything set up because they weren't prepared for that because they didn't think this was going to happen i guess they didn't they didn't plan along with this business they just planned the festival as its own thing and didn't consult them and uh so the the fair comers and the fair goers came and of course they're like why would i pay for parking if i could just park for free right next door or at a truck stop right right i think we can all relate to that except that i wouldn't actually do it because i know it's a truck stop but <laughs> anyways there's like a hundred cars in here there's well, everything and then they were using it as like i guess a playground for their kids too just like running around i thought they were going to start jumping up on my trailer or something because like whatever it's over I, I let them know what happened and that it was just chaos and they're like oh we're so sorry like this was not supposed to happen they're supposed to be parking over there and this was supposed to be open so drivers could fuel and not have to worry about running over a kid or anything uh so whoever planned this fair next door really didn't think things through and maybe they should have coordinated with Petro Pass here a little bit more so they could, like, so that the festival could pay to put up signs saying, hey, no festival parking here at least, or maybe, just to let them know, hey, like, you guys are supposed to park over there. But we made it through, and uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore, because guess what? Guess what? We're going home. We're going home today. I've been gone for too long. 13 days, I think. 13 days that I've been gone from home. It's been too long. It's time to go home. Let's go. We have about uh, three and a half hours to our yard where I'm going to leave this trailer. This trailer needs to be delivered Monday. I'm going to do that. Today is a Saturday. So I want to get home as fast as I can. I'm going to go home for a reset for today and tomorrow. And then I'm going to take those to their delivery point on Monday. But for now, like I said, I'm going to drop it in our yard because it's a safe, secure yard. And then I'm going to go to my shop. Got this guy in front of me. good 
And I know if I try to do it by myself, I don't know what I'm doing. It's probably gonna be, be pretty obvious that whoever did it didn't know what they were doing if, if I do it by myself. <laughs> Well, we're back, back in the shop. Our trailer is out on another rental right now, so I was able to bring my pickup right in here. But the trailer's been rented out every weekend since we put it on the market. Pretty much straight through, yeah, all through August. Just a few days off, we had them blocked off just to, so Rick could do the cleaning in there, because we have to clean it between each uh, guest. But it's been going really good. I've actually been pleasantly surprised. So tomorrow, what is it, tomorrow? What is it, Saturday? Yeah, tomorrow the trailer's coming back. And uh, we'll do the return, and then I'll park it back in here and get it ready for the next people. For the summertime, I try to park it here in such a way where someone can easily hook up and pull it out. That's probably Britt, wondering why I'm not home yet. <laughs> I told her I was at the shop a little while ago. I got all my stuff out of the truck, my laundry. I've been gone for quite a while, so I wanted to wash all my bedding, obviously. Got that all out of here, got the truck in here, and I'm about to roll out and go home and see Britt and Theo. I think I've got everything. I think I do. I have my checklist of things to do. I mean, it's not like we live far away from the shop. If I have to come back to the shop, it's fine. I can come grab it, but I just... <laughs> I want to be able to enjoy my time at home because this time I'm at home, I'm only home for the rest of today and tomorrow. And then I've got to go on another quick trip, which will only be like two days. And by the time you watch this, I'll already be long home. But it's, I don't want to be going back and forth between the truck and the house all day tomorrow. I want to be able to enjoy my time at home tomorrow. My time is very valuable when I'm at home. I've said before, like, that's why I, I pay other people to do the work on my truck to to do the service on my truck. It's stuff I could do on my own, and I'd like to, eventually in the future, I'd really like to start doing the services on my own once Theo is old enough to be able to help me. I think that would be a nice bonding time. I mean, if he's into this kind of thing, or that's what he wants to do. I'd love to work on the truck with him together. But until then, when I'm at home, every minute counts. 
Every little bit counts. So, I don't want to spend too much time here. Anything I want to get done to the truck myself, I'll do on a trip. Speaking of what I'd like to get done, I want to get that front end lowered. What do you think? What do you think? Just a few inches? Not, not like on the ground. I'd love to have air ride suspension in there so I could adjust it. We'll see. I'll talk to the professionals and see what they suggest. But definitely, definitely, that front end needs to come down a little bit. And uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm not planning on doing it anytime soon, but I'm thinking about it. Pretty much just to close up this gap right here, right? So we drop it probably about two, three inches. You guys remember Moses from a couple of days ago, right? His truck was just a little bit lower. Doesn't that look so much better? I gotta be careful though, because if I go too low and I don't have air ride to raise it back up in winter time, I have to be very careful that I don't rip my bumper off in the snow. Unless I get one of those bumpers, then, those fancy ones that you can push a button in the cab and the bumper lifts up and go over the snow. Oh, man, I'm dreaming, I know. I love dreaming. What's life without dreaming? It's boring, right? Anyways, all blues all tucked in. Sleep good. I'll be back soon. There's a door here. If you're wondering, yes, I backed right into the door. Where's all this noise coming out of here? Hey. We just went to Boston Pizza. He was flirting with the waitress. Weren't you? <laughs> he does really good at restaurants. You can sort of really take him anywhere. Britt says that when I'm not here too, she takes him out all the time. And, right? Yeah, he's an easy baby. He sleeps? How much has he been sleeping? Let's make all the other parents out there jealous. Um, he sleeps. A minimum of eight hours a night to a maximum of like 11 and a half, I think, hours. And then his naps are between two and five hours, but on average, three to three and a half. And how many naps a day? Oh, well, that's just the one big nap that oh, he okay. takes throughout the day. The rest of his naps are like cat naps, like 20 minutes to half an hour. But oh, well, in the evening, he usually takes like a good two hour nap, too. So <laughs> there's a good baby. He's a really easy really baby. Easy baby. <laughs> We're just saying our next one's probably gonna be a holy terror. Probably get a little bit of payback from the rest of the parents there out there. He rarely fusses here. We can take him out in public to a restaurant. He just sits there and looks around, smiles at everybody. Unlike uh, someone else we know, when they were a baby, couldn't take you anywhere. Boo boo me, boo boo me. Silly, we still can't take you anywhere. Like you were good as a baby. Yeah. He was a good puppy. Diesel was on the counters. I was. That's a good spot, kid. Good spot. Wiener was a holy terror, too. He pooped in everybody's house. But he was small, so I could just pick him up. <laughs> he pooped everywhere. <laughs> and in two days, day after tomorrow from when I'm filming this, so it's already passed when you watch this, it's Diesel's 12th birthday. Oh. Diesel, 12 years old. Come up here. Come up here in the light a little bit more. Come here. Come here. What are you going to do for your birthday? I'm going to heap. I mean, old man. Old. I'm going to heap. Can you sit? Yes. Happy early birthday. And for everybody watching, happy belated birthday. I got you when you were 10 weeks old. You remember that? You were in the back of a pickup truck in St. Laurent, Manitoba. Best 20 bucks I ever spent. 12 years ago. And that's the best $30,000 I ever spent over there making all that noise. <laughs> 30,000 and counting, because it doesn't stop. He's an IVF baby for the new people, so $30,000 for you and me. It doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter. We're very excited that it worked out. We had uh, fertility issues for the new people. What's going on here? What's it? And now we're so happy that you're here now. 
We were waiting for you for so long. We tried for five years. Yeah. If not more. Five and a half. Yep. Five and a half. Unexplained infertility. Doctors couldn't explain it. So we went through IUI. Well, Britt went times. through IUI four times. Didn't work. Didn't work. Yeah. And then we went IVF. And the doctors helped us. First time was the charm. You were handpicked by the doctor. That's why you're so perfect, right? Right? Yeah, and the first time worked. What a journey. Now look at you. Look at you. Handsome man. Handsome. Stealing Handsome. hearts everywhere. He's getting all shy because the camera's on him. Just yeah. like Diesel shuts down when the camera comes on. <laughs> he can see himself in the front of this one too. The other GoPros, there wasn't a screen on the front of the camera like this. This is the 10. So he can see, he can see himself. Right? That's you. That's you.